Welcome back viewers. In today's video, we are going to install the ButterFS Assistant along with the other uh, applications that can be used to do the maintenance of the ButterFS file system and take system snapshot. So first thing, you have to search whether the ButterFS Assistant is available in the repos or not. So for that, you have to use the sudo pacman space dash capital S S ButterFS Assistant command. So here you can see all the applications that are related with the ButterFS Assistant will be shown. So the ButterFS Assistant Git application is there. So this will be the latest ButterFS application and it will be very fresh and very new application. Then there is the stable application ButterFS Assistant 1.8. So that is also shown here. Next thing we will check whether the ButterFS Snapper is there. So this application is there to take the system snapshots. So for that you have to search in the YA. So YA space dash S S ButterFS Snapper. So here different versions of Snapper are available in the AUR repositories. So YA is a AUR helper. It will show, it will help you to discover the AUR repositories, install or install packages from the AUR repositories. So AUR repositories will contain uh, source code for the different applications and those uh, source codes can be downloaded and later you can compile it on your system and install that package on your system. So here you can see the different snapper uh, versions are available. So there is this LXD snapper dash bean. So this is for the LXD. So the LXD is nothing but uh, a virtual machine. So that uh, Snapper will be used with the virtual machines LXD. So LXD virtual machine we will cover it in uh, later videos. So it is from Ubuntu. So next is the LXD Snapper, LXD Snapper Bean and the LXD Snapper. So these are two different uh, versions of Snapper. One is Bean. Bean means it is I think uh, executable. It is already pre-compiled. You can directly install. And other is you have to uh, Compile it on your system and then install. Then Ruby dash snap sync. So this is the application to sync the snap uh, snap. Then tar snapper is there. So this is for the zip files. ButterFS dash assistant dash git is there. You can see it here. So different versions are there in different. So in Pacman also the ButterFS assistant was there. Whereas in AUR also the ButterFS assistant is there. Then there is snapper snapshot notification. So this is the application to show the snapper or the snapshot notifications on your system. Then AUR SMP is there. So it is a wrapper for the shell command in a snapper pre post snapshot. Snapper pack is there. So this is the Pacman hook for the snapper. You can see it here. Snapper tools are there. Snapper rollback is there to roll back uh, your system to the earlier older snapshot. Snapper support is there. Snapper tools, Snapper root JIT. So it is bare essentials utility for taking the ButterFS snapshots. Snapper Borg is there. So this is the automated backups of the Snapper uh, snapshots to the Borg repositories. So Snapper pack, Snapper sync. Snapper Git, so Snapper GUI, so this is uh, the GUI for the Snapper tool. There are some extra packages for the Snapper, the Snapper pack is there, so this is again Pacman hook only. So different versions are there, some are the Git version, some are Bean version, some are the stable versions. So what we will do is now we will again uh, let us try to search for the Snapper in the AUR repository. So here you can see is available and then we can just install it so a dash s snapper so it will search and install because we already seen it is available in aur as well as the uh, butterfs assistant is found in both aur and the uh, pacman the repository there is the main repository of uh, arch and snapper is already uh, only found in the a so first we will uh, install the snapper so you can see here the snapper is getting installed then we can uh, install all the snapper tools here. So ButterFS is already installed. 
so now after the butter FS installation is done you can install the snapper then you have to install the snapper tool so first you have to install the butter FS assistant then snapper then the snapper tool so all I have selected from the above list so all all the snapper tools are going to get installed you can see it here there will be some extra packages required those are the dependencies for building uh, the snapper tools on your system you can see it here so this grub butter fs is required you can see it here utify tools cpp dap json so these are all required for the dependency fulfillment and also the grub butter fs daemon will be required so whenever uh, you the snapshot is there so that will also uh, update the grub so in the grub the snapper snap snapshots will be available for uh, rollback or uh, whenever you do a new snapshot the snapshot will be recorded in the grub also and it will show as a grub entry so for that this grub butter fs daemon is required you can see here everything is getting installed so by the end of this process your butter fs assistant will be installed your snapper uh, the main snapper application package will be installed to take snapshots and later on you have to install the snapper tools also so all tools you can install it uh, or you can install a few of the tools as required i install all the tools so it is taking little long time but you can see here the snapper rollback snapper support snapper tools and the snapper so these are four packages you should definitely install that's it so complete uh, ButterFS uh, assistant along with the snapper and snapper tools is installed so complete functionality of uh, the uh, snapshot taking and rollback is available it is a full featured uh, safety net uh, and you can do the ButterFS uh, maintenance also with these tools so but uh, ButterFS assistant you can do the maintenance of the ButterFS file system on your, uh, on your system and the snapper tools and snapper can be used to take the system backup backups so your system is uh, fa fail proof and anytime any issue happens you can just roll back so this same functionality is there in OpenSUSE it is there in default but in Arch you have to uh, exclusively install these packages so first during the installation you have to choose the butterfs file system as your file system for the root uh, root partition and later on after the installation is complete you have to manually install the butterfs assistant snapper and the snapper tools and then you get the same functionality as it is available in open susa so now we will stop the video here see you in the next video with some other information bye bye